Ever wondered why Japan experiences a high frequency and intensity of earthquakes? This is a question that has gained significant attention recently, following a series of powerful quakes that shook the west coast of Japan. These were not ordinary tremors, but a magnitude 7.6 earthquake that struck Ishikawa Prefecture. The impact was devastating, triggering tsunamis, igniting fires, and causing numerous aftershocks. This was the largest quake to hit Japan's west coast in more than a hundred years, reducing buildings to rubble and taking dozens of lives. But why does this happen? The answer lies beneath the surface. Japan is one of the most earthquake-prone countries in the world. It sits on a precarious junction where four tectonic plates grind against each other, creating a hotbed for seismic activity. As we delve into the science behind earthquakes, we will understand more about why Japan is such a hotspot for seismic activity. So, what really causes earthquakes in Japan? This is a question that has intrigued and perplexed scientists for years. The answer lies deep beneath the Earth's surface where massive chunks of Earth's crust, known as tectonic plates, are constantly in motion. In the case of Japan, it sits atop four converging tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate, the Philippine Sea Plate, the Eurasian Plate, and the North American Plate. These plates do not slide past each other smoothly. Instead, they grind together, creating intense pressure. When this pressure becomes too great, it is released in the form of an earthquake. This process is known as subduction. Most of the major earthquakes in Japan are caused by the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the North American Plate. This subduction was the driving force behind Japan's largest ever recorded earthquake, a magnitude 9.1 quake that struck the Tohoku region in 2011, triggering a massive tsunami. However, the earthquakes on the west coast of Japan, like the recent one in Ishikawa, are triggered by a different mechanism. Instead of occurring along the boundary of a tectonic plate, these earthquakes are caused by faults within the plate itself. These faults are put under pressure when the tectonic plates push against each other. As the stress builds up in the plate, it eventually slips, causing an earthquake. After the main earthquake, you might wonder, why are there so many aftershocks? Well, these are likely triggered by multiple fault ruptures inside the plate. Studies have also shown that fluids deep inside Earth's crust can drive these aftershocks. As these fluids well up through the crust, they can weaken the fault zone and cause it to slip, leading to a series of aftershocks following a main earthquake. With this understanding, it becomes clear why the land of the rising sun is so prone to these deadly tremors. How does Japan deal with such frequent and intense seismic activity, you may wonder? Since the catastrophic Tohoku earthquake in 2011, Japan has made significant strides in bolstering its earthquake early warning systems. In the face of the recent tremor that hit Ishikawa, these improvements were put to the test. The Japan Meteorological Agency, or JMA, was quick on the draw. In the immediate aftermath of the magnitude 7.6 earthquake, a major tsunami warning was issued. This swift response allowed residents to evacuate to higher grounds, mitigating the potential for more extensive damage and loss of life. But it's not just about the technology. The people of Japan have shown remarkable resilience in the face of these natural disasters. They've learned to live with the reality of their seismic surroundings, continuously adapting and preparing for the next inevitable shake. Despite the constant threat, Japan's resilience and advanced warning systems stand as a beacon of hope amidst the destructive power of nature.